my god dark circles are real i don't care i still look cute hi everybody it's your girl second and welcome back to my channel so i have been breaking out it's that time of the month so that's why your girl has no makeup and quite honestly i'm only going to the grocery store because we have zero groceries at home i'm not sure why this is not focusing oh my god maybe i can just have the camera like like that okay so this is one of my old wigs it's actually my first wig and then i revamped it a little bit but i got it to lay like super super flat uh like pin straight so i think i'm gonna do some waves next time anyway your girl is on route or on route depending on where you're from um to the grocery store because we have zero groceries at home and oh my god i'm pretty sure the grocery store closes in about 20 minutes so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me because i still get asked about cooking videos and what i'm making during quarantine and i share a lot on my instagram stories and on my instagram in general of what i'm making for lunch for dinner um and for breakfast but i'm gonna bring you guys along the ride of what i get because your girl's kind of i'm gonna try something different i'm gonna try keto um but not full throttle because I am working out as well. So I need a bit of carbs incorporated in it, if that makes any sense at all. But anyway, your girl's just overall gonna be eating a lot more healthier. No more Popeye's chicken, no more Hakka, no more takeout, just none of that. So I'm going to be doing some grocery runs. I've already made my entire list. If you guys want the full list in detail, go over to my Instagram. I'll post it on my IG stories and I'll save it in the food section of my page. So you guys already have it there for you. Let's do this. Oh my God. And I also have to go to Walmart and I also have to go to Dollarama. Oh my God. I don't want to go. I actually don't, but I have to. Cause there's absolutely no, like there was, I did not have breakfast this morning. Like I didn't have my yogurt parfait. Like, the, oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually ill. I have to edit that out. I'm not going to include that. That's so not it. I still get nervous when people watch me vlog. All right, let's, um, okay. All right, let's just, oh, let's just do this. <laughs> let's just do this. Oh my god dark circles are real i don't care i still look cute so let's head in and do some shopping oh my god i'm vlogging again <gasps> it's been so long okay okay <laughs> somebody just saw me talking to myself <laughs> embarrassing okay <laughs> all right guys let's go i'm at the grocery store right now um you already know it's no frill shout out to people in toronto no i'm just kidding but um so what i like to do is i break up my list into produce uh, meat dairy condiments and I think I put bread but anyway I kind of break it down to the way that the grocery store is kind of mapped out that way I'm in and out of the grocery store without wasting any time so I'm in the produce section and I picked up some kale some fruits um, cauliflower and I got to pick up some lemons and some other fruits oh and like potatoes and things like that so it's the first section when you walk into the grocery store so I kind of like use up all my time section by section if that makes sense all right let's move on <laughs> I don't know if I'm like really late but there is nothing at this grocery store like this is half of what I had on my list but I mean it's it, it's gonna have to hold us down because the grocery store closest to my house had the line around the building I don't get why this camera isn't focusing but it had the line around the building guys like I have zero time for that but this is what I got so far <sighs> it'll do it'll hold us down I have a couple more things to get like peanut butter not for me because I don't like peanut butter, but um, I have to get peanut butter, uh, some coffee for me, and I think that's about it. This took me like 15 minutes to like grab everything, but I think having the list and breaking it down to like the map of how the grocery store is really makes a big difference. So that is my recommendation. If you're like me and the minute you have to go outside, you want to get right back in, that's what I would do. So keep that in mind. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I, like, I'm sad. No avocados, no milk. 
by like the three. Actually, a lot of you guys that watch this aren't from like Canada, but in Toronto, we have our milk in like small baggies. Three of them come in a pack and they're all sold out. So I had to get like milk in a box or boxed milk, which sounds really weird, but it's this thing. Which I don't like because my fiance runs through milk really, really fast. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer because that only means I have to come back to the grocery store. Or you know what? He can come back to the grocery store and pick up some milk, but it's quite annoying. But anyway, I'm going to grab the peanut butter. I'm going to grab the coffee and then I'm out of here. I got to go, but the lighting, mama. Actually, living the grocery store is kind of lit. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of people staring, but it's okay. It's okay. I wish I had a jacket with like my YouTube like link. Actually, no, that's tacky. Never mind. <laughs> Guys, before I get cussed out because I think they're about to close, I want to put you on game of this sauce. Like this marinade is the best. Hold up, this needs to focus. So I posted this video of what I was making for dinner one night and everybody was just like, how'd you do it? What sauce did you use? And this is it. I don't know why this peanut butter took me forever to find, but holy smokes. Now I'm finally ready to go. I wanna, okay, so my problem with like, I guess like snacking and stuff like that is like, I'm huge on like chips and salty snacks and popcorn and all that stuff. So I don't know if you guys know, but you can make chips out of kale and it tastes so good. So I'm gonna make some kale chips this weekend and I'm so excited. Yes. I'm trying my best. I'm walking through the snack aisle and I'm dying right now. All right guys, so we are back from the grocery store and we're in my kitchen. It's been a minute, I actually just kind of took that in. Like I haven't done a cooking video in a really long time. So I'm gonna go through, I guess this grocery haul with you guys and I'm gonna show you what I got. A bit of a disclaimer, the grocery store that I went to didn't have a lot in stock, unfortunately. I think I got enough to kind of hold us down for a couple of weeks, I'd say, like a week and a half. So earlier in the video, I may have mentioned that <laughs> I wanna kind of sorta start keto, so Hopefully I don't slip up because I kind of did slip up today Anyway, so without further ado, let's get started on what I got from the grocery store also low-key I'm not really filling in the black hair like I've been kind of like going back and forth With doing blonde again, but I don't know if it's because I haven't done Black in a really long time. Anyway guys, let's get into this grocery haul. I am going to go through not each item one by one because I don't want this to be an hour long video, but I'm gonna go through the essentials with you guys. So what's been really holding me down is iced coffee. I kind of post it almost every day on my Instagram stories with having whipped iced coffee at home. So every time we go to the grocery store, I make sure we get two packs of Almond Breeze. I find that the regular vanilla Almond Breeze is a bit too sweet for me. So I picked up the unsweetened version. I love this, I love this, I love this so much with whipped iced coffee. I have it in the afternoon to kind of get me like, you know, uppity again. <laughs> so I can edit and film or whatever it is that I'm doing, but love, love, love this stuff. So you guys are gonna notice a trend in my shopping. I like to get double, especially if I go through something really quickly, I like to get two. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys know that I love parfaits in the morning for breakfast. So I picked up two vanilla flavored yogurts and I like to mix this with seeds like chia seeds, hemp seeds, and mixed berries. So I picked up some berries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And I love this in the morning. It's so filling and it helps me with kind of like, you know, it helps me to go in the morning. It's, it just like, kind of just like, you know, flows kind of nicely. 
It helps me take a poop. <laughs> this one thing that I'm really excited to share with you guys is how to make mini pizzas at home. This is something that we've been obsessing over and we've been making almost every week. And we're not using like pizza dough or making dough from scratch or any of that stuff. We make quick and easy pizzas and they're ready in like 20 minutes. The base of it all is non bread and specifically garlic non bread. I find that the flavor of the garlic naan and having your pizza toppings is delicious like i've i've been obsessing over it and it is really really good naan bread is super soft oh my god i can smell the garlic already it's really really good so i always grab like a few packs of these they're like i want to say a dollar less than two dollars each so we typically pop like a couple of these in the oven put some cheese, put some pepperoni, or put some like leftover chicken from like the night before or whatever. And we have mini pizzas like ready to go. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know in the description box below. Actually put a pizza emoji or something like that. And I can show you guys how to quickly make a really, really delicious lunch or dinner. Let me know. But non bread is the best. So another thing I picked up and I did mention at the grocery store is kale. So I've been really bad, especially during quarantine with snacking. And I'll tell myself to like, you know what I mean? Have, some, have a bit of self-control, like take it easy on the chips, take it easy on like the French fries and all that stuff. But it's really hard because I have cravings for like salty foods and salty snacks in general. When it comes to sweets, like it's very few and far between where I'll just like want to Get. actually I would never go out and buy like a cake or something like that but when it comes to like savory stuff that's really like my thing but to kind of ease my way out of buying chips I'm actually gonna be making kale chips and this is something that me and my sister used to make at home a few years back a lot and you put these in the oven and after about five to eight minutes they turn out crunchy and like as though you're having like a bowl of chips so I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. I don't know if it's YouTube worthy. Let me know if you guys wanna see a YouTube video or I can do like a quick Instagram stories thing and upload it on there. Let me know in the comment section down below, but kale chips, I promise you, if you're addicted to chips like me, kale chips are the way to go and it takes no time to make. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. And it's so much more healthier for you than having a bag of chips. So if you are a fan of watching my Instagram lives, but especially when I'm eating on Instagram live which is kind of weird but at the same time you guys get a kick out of it because I'll be on Instagram live eating like tacos and you guys will be like oh my god you can hear the crunch like you're making us hungry but these taco shells are so good they kind of remind me of like a Dorito if, if you like Doritos and like hard shell tacos then you'll love this I'm gonna be okay I'm, I'm not gonna have like four like I normally do maybe I might narrow it down to two but definitely not four which is quite easy for me to do but I'm probably gonna have two to kind of treat myself at taco night <laughs> so another thing I pick up every single time I'm at the grocery store is chicken I find that chicken <laughs> and the meat section is really sparse at like almost every grocery store that I go to. So if I can get my hands on some chicken, on some beef, then I'll pick it up. This grocery store ran out of beef, like cleared shelves, unfortunately, but this is gonna hold us down. You guys really, really love when I post dinner. And you guys had a lot of questions when I posted that jerk chicken marinade with the rice and all that so i can't wait to show you guys how i make that on youtube with some chicken thighs and some drumsticks but i kind of want to fry chicken no i'm not gonna fry chicken i'm gonna make the jerk chicken instead we're not gonna fry you see caught myself there another thing i picked up because i'm trying to be better with how much coffee i'm taking in is peppermint tea so sometimes I'll even have coffee to kind of just warm me up because it is getting a bit cold all of a sudden which is kind of weird for Toronto uh, but Toronto weather is really unpredictable but I'll catch myself grabbing a cup of coffee not because I need to be awake but to kind of warm myself up a little bit so I decided to pick up some peppermint tea caffeine free and I'm not gonna be jittery during the day or at night. I mentioned this at the grocery store, but I hate picking up this type of milk or like milk in a box. Like it's just, 
I don't know, it's just, this runs out really, really quickly at my house. So it was really sad when they ran out of the milk bags, which I know is kind of weird. This is gonna run out in two days, I promise you. And I don't even drink this. It's my fiance that really loves milk. For those of you guys that are not Canadian, this is the container we use for milk. I'll show you guys. Actually, yeah, it looks like this. It's just our last bag, but it looks like this. So I'm not a big fan of like, having Coke or Sprite or Pepsi or whatever, but I love carbonated drinks. It doesn't even have to be like Perrier, but I love carbonated water. Like it's really good. I don't know if it's because I'm getting to that age where I'm just like, I need a burp, but after having like a meal and you just want like a, a good burp, <laughs> I always have carbonated water. I also stocked up on dish soap. Always get two, because I'm not trying to leave the house again. I feel like I get everything in twos. So when I do have toast, I love this brand because it's full of like flax seeds and sunflower seeds. It's just like jam packed with like just goodness. So I always buy two of these and I keep one in the freezer and one in the fridge. I restocked on some Instant iced coffee. I really gotta lay off of the coffee, but maybe if I can have just one a day as opposed to three, then that's a start. <laughs> this is gonna last a long time because I normally would run through this pretty quickly, but I'll be all right. I love the smell of lemons. I'm going to add this into my water every day and hopefully the bloating will go down. If you guys have any tips of how to combat bloating, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I got bananas too. <laughs> Always get in two. Freeze one and leave one in the fridge. Freeze one, leave one in the fridge. Freeze one, leave one in the fridge. Oh. By the way, if you guys are interested in an updated rice water video, let me know because your girl's been making some rice water. And that pretty much wraps up what I got from the grocery store. Like I got some butter and some turkey breasts and things like that for sandwiches. But again, I was pretty underwhelmed by the options that were at the grocery store. But I totally understand what's going on. Like they're out of stock. I even tried going to Walmart to get a hand mixer and they were completely out of stock of that, which was super random. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see a cooking video next week, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, please subscribe. And if you have, I love you. Thank you so much. More videos on the way and I'll see you guys in the next one.